Okay guys, what's up? My name is Redspread HD, and this is going to be my first video on the Phaser Gaming Channel, and I'm a newfound director. Yay, I know some of you people are like, alright, who is this guy, why is he posting here, and I'm going to get all into all of that, I'm going to give you a little background information, and what Phaser means to me. But before we get into that, let's talk about the gameplay. It's a Modern Warfare 3, Xbox 360, you know, 3v3 gameplay. I went 29 and 7, and I was just trying to get my PP90 gold, which is not gold yet. I uh, my strive for that game is to be all gold, and well, I want to get like top top 10 in the leaderboards for team deathmatch. That's a little bit about my Modern Warfare 3 goals and what I like to do on Modern Warfare 3. I like to troll. You guys, if you check out my channel, I'm going to be starting up a series, hopefully, when I have enough people rage in, in 2v2, 3v3s, and 1v1s. Alright, but now let's talk about what, who am, who am I? Who is this guy? Who is Redspart HD? Well, I joined YouTube a couple years ago, and I started up many channels, which all have gotten either dislike botted on, like botted on, sub botted on, and I want to be 110% legit, like, above a thousand you know i just want to be the legitest person and be true to myself so i started gaming uh back when the playstation 2 was out no one i don't believe youtube was up at the time and i would be playing kingdom hearts 2 and having a great time you know beating sephiroth for god knows how long that took me but and then the xbox 360 came out and call of duty series started and then youtube so that's, that's mostly a little summary right there. I used to do GB, Game Battles, MLG, all of the MLG stuff back in the day. It's just I started to see that it was no point in it. You know, it was not fun, and Call of Duty started to get boring to me. And so I started doing these commentaries. Call of Duty actually means something now. Because I can actually talk while like I can play the game, because I know, hey, look at this, I'm going to have a cool gameplay, and I like it. So now I'm back into Call of Duty, and I'm getting, I'm starting up in a GP team. Wish me luck there. I'm not the best Call of Duty player, but now I see that it's a bit more fun to play competitive. Because you actually play people that are better than you, and you learn. You constantly learn on Call of Duty. And then, on my channel, I started up this series called the uh, Otaku and Me. It's where I talk about anime such as Hunter x Hunter, Naruto Shippuden. I'm going to start doing the Bleach review. Uh, any, any type of anime that I've watched, I'm gonna start be doing I start doing a review on. And a little pet peeve about me, I really hate when I lose my train of thought in a commentary. I'll be like, mm, um, um, I really hate that. So I try I'm starting to I've started to try strive for my best. I'll type it down what I'm gonna talk about. And then it'll all just flow naturally for me. So now what does this phaser community community man, that's a hard word. Even describe phaser because phaser to me felt like a family over any of the networks out there because all right i'm gonna tell you a little story i saw phaser at first when jamie x elite started talking about how epic it was going to be and how cool and the partnership programs and i was like yo yo i gotta try this like I, i'm gonna go talk to these guys and when i joined the forums that they had back in the day they stopped the forums and they had a shout box I met a lot of the directors, like Frosted Cheerios. I mean, you get, they don't remember me. I was just talking to them in the chat box, and they're very nice. I met Tom. I believe he was an uh, admin at the time. I don't remember clearly, and I know Frosted Cheerios was a partner. He had like the blue and black or blue and black emblem. So I, I started to talk to everyone, and I'm like, you know what? This is a really cool place. So I started making my own YouTube videos, and I posted one of them, and I got a couple likes from the Phaser Network, and. You know, they would help me if I had a question about my, like, I I believe it was Tom, I'm not sure. I asked them, I have a Core i7, but it only says I have four physical cores, and he said something about hyper-threading. So, that made a lot of sense to me at the time, I don't remember exactly what happened. But, that at that moment, it felt like a family, because everyone was helping each other out, and they would help you, <laughs> if you wanted to play, hey, let's go play. It was a really chill place. So... Comparing Phaser Network to other networks on YouTube, other gaming networks, other vlogs, anything, feels like a family because they actually want to sit there and talk to you and whatnot. So when I joined the, f when I got a message about becoming a Phaser Director, I hopped on it. I tried messaging him, and I had college that night, but somehow I made it through oh, with my excitement. So I hopped in and I talked to him. You know, and then I got invited to the Phaser uh, Director's Skype chat, and that... You know, it's pretty cool in there. I mean, everyone looks like, from what I'm reading, everyone likes everyone. And 
it's just a lot of uh, talking, you know, like, chill. People want to meet people, and that's what I was originally out for gaming. And I can make YouTube videos while meeting cool people to play with. And Phaser has done that, that's why I consider them a family, because they they take care. Here's the main reason, I forgot to include, why I think they're a family. Because many networks, it's quality, it's quantity over quality. In Phaser, I feel like it's qu uh, quality over quantity. They're not going to pick, they're not going to upload, let's say, 50 videos a day just to get views and money. I feel like they'll upload maybe two or three videos that have high quality content in it and people that and that people will really want to watch and enjoy so i that's that's one of the super duper main reasons because i don't want to be with a, a networking channel that just uploads stuff that makes absolutely no sense just to get views so phaser network i want to say thank you for allowing me to join up with you guys and it's been a, it's gonna be a really good privilege i will make you guys proud and for anyone else out there watching this and you're thinking about applying for a directorship i would say yes if you're really into youtube and you're 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 gonna make me making videos i will guarantee you that you will like the phaser network and i'm don't know if this video has the video of the gameplay has run out but if it has i am sorry well as of now this has been red sport hd and I hope you guys enjoyed my first commentary on the Phaser Network. Thanks for watching.